Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have this really pretty kind of fall or winter or whatever look you want to call it. It's very vampy and I'm going to show you how I did it. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I just used my MAC paint pot in soft ochre and I'm going to be using this on my eyelids. This makes a really great eyeshadow base or you can pretty much use it for a concealer or you know whatever you want to use it for you can go ahead and do that but today I'm just going to be putting that on my eyelids and yes my nose piercing was very angry this day so if you're noticing that I'm sorry it looks really gross. Next I just put some tape on the outer parts of my eyes and used my 120 color palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm using this really light kind of transition shade and I'm just going to be putting that into my crease just to kind of get started um, for applying other eyeshadows that we're going to right now. Then I took this kind of natural looking brown from the exact same palette and on a angled elf brush I'm going to be putting that just in the outer corners and kind of sweeping that into my crease as well. Just doing that on both parts of my eye. Right over top of the transition color it just makes it really easy to blend. Then with this no name or no brand name um, makeup brush. I took a darker brown and also applied that to the outer corners as well. Then for my lid, I took this kind of shimmery browny orange color and this will be really great for bringing out blue eyes in case anyone is wondering. I put a good amount of that on my lid using a flat Sephora eyeshadow brush. Now for the main part of this look, really vampy big eyeliner and for that I'm using my e.l.f. cream eyeliner which just looks like this. I believe this is only about three dollars and it works absolute wonders. So for that I'm just going to be using this really old brush. This will be a lot easier if you have a good quality brush but I do not for my eyeliner so I'm just using this and I'm just making really big huge winged out eyeliner. That's what I really wanted this look to be. Really dramatic eyeliner, neutral eyeshadows, and dark lips. So for the eyeliner, I just made a really huge wing on the outside and then went in and did the inner parts of my eye. This does take practice. In my opinion, nobody is perfect at liquid, gel, or any type of eyeliner, so really just practice with it. Take your time and it'll you'll get better with time. So it should look like that. You can do it as thin or as thick as you want. It's all about personal preference. Next, I just took a little bit more of that dark brown eyeshadow that we use, and I'm gonna be using that underneath my eye just to make it a little bit more dark and smoky. For those of you who say it looks like I have bags under my eyes, it actually doesn't at all, but okay. Um, so you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Too, but that's just what I wanted to do for this look. Next I went in with my Sephora eyelash curler and then just applied some Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara to my top and bottom lashes. So here is basically what the eye looks like all finished up. As you can see the eyeliner is very dramatic. And then for the lips, I'm going to be using a really dark color. And this is a new lipstick that I got. It's by Revlon. It is a super dark lipstick. It is absolutely gorgeous, as you can see. It is a cream lipstick, so it's very, very, very kind of smooth on the lips. And this is in 477 Black Cherry. And I'm just going to be applying that to my top and my bottom lips. And I did already apply some kind of burgundy lip liner on. And it just looks like that. I think the color is absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it. It's perfect if you love dark lips. And it's perfect for the winter time. Then to finish off your look, just grab your favorite beanie and throw it on to keep your ears nice and warm during the cold weather. And you also look really super stylish. And then this is the completed look look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys!